Hi everyone, and welcome back to Game Arenas, your ultimate destination for all things Stadium Magic. Today, we're diving deep into the epic arenas of the 2024 Six Nations Championship and uncovering the breathtaking stadiums that will set the stage for this epic rugby showdown. We're taking a virtual victory lap across nine iconic stadiums in six European nations. So, fasten your seatbelts for a whirlwind tour filled with facts, legendary highlights, and enough stats to impress every rugby fan. First stop, France. The Stade Velodrome is a multi-purpose stadium in Marseille. It is the home ground of the Olympique de Marseille Football Club and has a capacity of 67,394 spectators. The stadium has a rich history, having hosted various significant events such as the FIFA World Cup, the UEFA European Championship, and the Rugby World Cup. It has undergone several renovations, with the most recent one completed in 2014, increasing its capacity and modernizing the facilities. The stadium has also been used for concerts and cycling events. Still in France. Let's go to the Parc Olympique Lyonnais, also known as Groupama Stadium. It's a 59,186 seat stadium located in Designs Charpieu, in the Lyon metropolis. It is the home of French football club Olympique Lyonnais. Opened in 2016, the stadium has hosted several major events, including UEFA Euro 2016, the 2017 Coupe de la Ligue Final, the 2018 UEFA Europa League Final, the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup, and ice hockey and rugby union matches. Additionally, the venue has held musical concerts featuring artists such as Rihanna, Coldplay, Celine Dion, and Muse. Moving on to Lille, the Stade Pierre Maroui is a multi-use retractable roof stadium in villeneuve d'Ascq that opened in 2012. It has a seating capacity of 50,186 and is the home stadium of Lille OSC. It has two floors or main levels, the full stadium level or grand stade, and the Boydaw Spectacles, where basketball, tennis, or music shows can take place. This stadium has a retractable roof which opens and shuts in 15 minutes. It hosted national football team and national rugby union team as well as some games of UEFA Euro 2016 and many top 14 matches. It hosted its first rugby union test match during the 2012 Autumn Internationals. It has been chosen to be one of the nine venues selected for France's hosting of the 2023 Rugby World Cup. This stadium has hosted several concerts, including Rihanna, Bruno Mars, and Celine Dion. If you enjoyed this video, take a break and subscribe to our channel. Across the Irish Sea, the Emerald Isle beckons. Dublin brings us the Aviva Stadium. Renovated in 2010, this beauty with 51,700 seats offers an intimate yet electric atmosphere for rugby battles. It stands on the same ground as the original Lansdowne Road Stadium. The Aviva Stadium is the home ground for the Irish Rugby Union team and the Republic of Ireland football team. It is Ireland's first and only UEFA category for stadium. The Aviva Stadium has a rich history of hosting a variety of sports and entertainment events, making it a significant venue in Ireland. Heading to Italy, we've got the iconic Stadio Olimpico. This Colosseum-style stadium is a multi-purpose sports venue located in Rome. It is the largest sports facility in the city and the second largest in Italy, seating more than 70,600 spectators. 
This stadium was opened in 1953 and is part of the architectural complex known as Foro Italico. It is owned by Sport e Salute and operated by the Italian National Olympic Committee. It has hosted various sporting events, including football, rugby union, athletics, and concerts. It has also hosted international events such as the 1960 Summer Olympics, the 1990 FIFA World Cup, and the 2020 European Championship. The Stadio Olimpico is the home venue of both SS Lazio and AS Roma football clubs. Don't forget to subscribe to Game Arena's channel. We head now north to Scotland. Mayfield in Edinburgh is a rugby stadium with a seating capacity of 67,144, making it the largest in Scotland and the fifth largest in the United Kingdom. It is the home of the Scottish Rugby Union and is primarily used for rugby union matches, hosting most of Scotland's home test matches and the Scottish Hydro Electric Cup final, as well as URC and European Rugby Champions Cup matches. Mayfield has a rich history, with its first match taking place in 1925. In recent years, Mayfield has hosted various events, including the 1999 Rugby World Cup, the 2007 Rugby World Cup, and the 2018 Scottish League Cup semi-final. Additionally, the stadium has hosted American football, rugby league, and association football matches, as well as numerous music concerts. And now, Wales presents the stunning Millennium Stadium, also known as the Principality Stadium since 2016, is the National Stadium of Wales. Located in Cardiff, it is the home of the National Rugby Union team and has also held national football team games. Initially built to host the 1999 Rugby World Cup, it has gone on to host many other large-scale events, such as concerts, the Speedway Grand Prix of Great Britain, and various sports events. It has a seating capacity of 73,931, making it the largest in Wales and the fourth largest in the United Kingdom by total capacity. It is also the second largest stadium in the world with a fully retractable roof and was the second stadium in Europe to have this feature. It has also hosted events such as the 2017 UEFA Champions League Final and the 2015 Rugby World Cup. Last but never least, we have the iconic Twickenham Stadium in London. With a staggering 82,000 capacity, this historic ground, dating back to 1907, is the largest rugby stadium in the world. It is owned by the Rugby Football Union, the English Rugby Union governing body, which has its headquarters there. It is the world's largest rugby union stadium, the second largest in the United Kingdom, behind Wembley, and the fourth largest in Europe. It has hosted Rugby World Cup matches in 1991, 1999, 2015, and will be one of eight host venues for the 2025 Rugby World Cup. Apart from rugby, the stadium has also hosted concerts, American football, and other events. The stadium has undergone several redevelopments, with the most recent being the upgrading of the East Stand in 2018. So much for this overview of the stadiums that will host the 2024 Six Nations Championship. Don't hesitate to share your comments on these stadiums. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. Leave a like if you want to see more videos like this and share this video with your friends. Click on the bell to make sure you don't...